there. Welcome to topic 2. In this topic, we are going to learn basically on what is IFTTT and how does it work. So let us know what is IFTTT. So we will just write on Google IFTTT and we'll search it on. You will find this IFTTT is if this then that. This is what it does. That simply means that if this happens, then this to be happened. And you cannot imagine enough that what all we could connect through this. We could connect our Google apps. We could connect our mails. We could connect our SMS, our mobile, our daily works, our daily routines. Even after you can connect the calendar. And if this date happens, then you need to do this work. Everything could be automated through this IFTTT. So let us open its website before just going in. You need to just sign in or sign up. If you don't have an IFTTT account, you need to just sign up in the IFTTT over here. You could see here sign up. You will just go to the sign up. You need nothing. You will use your Google uh, account to sign in. So I will just use my Google account over here and I can easily sign up. So I've already signed up previously. So I will just directly sign in. Uh, it will just take me directly to the page itself. It's a little slow. This net is a little slow. Maybe. Or else I need to go to sign in, I believe. So let me sign in. Continue with Google. So once you log in, you will find a page like this. Uh, it will be just opened. You could see over here if you need to explore, if you want to explore, you could find many things to be done over here. Make your own applet. This is what we're going to do from scratch. Alexa, Google calendars, uh, you'll find everything you could see over here. YouTube, space, IFTTT for business, many things. If you want to search something like... Uh, email so you could find these are the connections over here and services see email email digest or you could want to see all services then you will find it over here in home you go to home and then you will find this view all you'll find so many services so just this is the what i have triple d is if you want to create the applets we will just go to my applets. You will find I will have several types of applets over here like this. It is all different, different applets. We need to create it. So I will just go to create. And when we click on create, we have this. If there is a plus, we'll click on the plus. Whatever we select, you could see so many services are there to select. Amazon, we have AirTouch. You can connect to your smartphone, your smart systems, your anything. You could find n number of services you will this means you need to scroll a number of times to just get at least the end of this page so many services are over here you could find facebook you could find whatsapp you can find your excel sheets anything google docs google drive so these are the services so uh, we may select anything so over here we'll use something like uh, anything let's just select google assistant okay so after you select this, you will be finding many things to be asked of this. We'll go for this later on in this entire module. But you just understand what this happens. After you select this, then it will ask over here a plus sign and it will tell you what is that. Means what needs to be happened if this happens. So then we need to select something over that and everything will be taking place step by step and everything will happen. This is what IFTTT is. So I hope you understood very well what IFTTT all needs to say to us. Thank you for this video. Let's meet with some different topic which relates to two different modules that is webhooks. Thank you.